Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is my week 17 game picks of the 2020 season, and uh, it's finally 2021. Thank the Lord. It is good riddance, 2020. But uh, with that being said, a lot of teams on the playoff bridge in this week 17 matchup. Uh, before we go into any of that, I'm just going to go over some of the the records of uh, week from week 16 and then so far in the season. Last week was probably one of my worst weeks. I went 8-8. Eight and eight. Gave the guys a lot of room to come back. Uh, Eddie went ten and six. Uh, Bryce went eight and eight as well, and then Chris went nine and seven, and that puts us at me one fifty eight and eighty two. Eddie at one fifty seven and eighty three. Uh, Bryce at one fifty two eighty eight, and then Chris at one forty nine ninety one. Now, with that being said, let's talk playoffs. So a lot of teams battling for playoff spots, especially in my Miami Dolphins. As you can see, uh, they are fighting for one of the wild card spots, especially since Buffalo has already secured their spot as the AFC East champion. So these are the teams that have clinched. Uh, Buffalo Bills have clinched the AFC East divisional title. Kansas City Chiefs, AFC West divisional title. And then first round by, they have locked the number one seed up. They could lose and it doesn't matter. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, they've won the AFC North title. It was close. It could have come down to it today. That would have been a great matchup for the AFC North title. But they won their game, and uh, that is helping out no one, except for the Dolphins, probably. <laughs> um, so, with that being said, let's talk about the first game. We have the Atlanta Falcons at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And uh, I'm going Tampa. I think Tampa obviously wins. They are still on that playoff push. Bryce and uh, Chris still voted for uh, Tampa. Eddie voted Falcons, by the way. So I don't know why he did that, but uh, Eddie, what are you doing there? Next, we have the Baltimore Ravens at the Cincinnati Bengals. Baltimore, ten and uh, ten and uh, ten and five record to Cincinnati's four and ten record, and we're all going Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore has been kind of on the tear. They've been making a good run towards the end of the season, and I expect them to make the playoffs. Next, we have Dallas at New York. This is ultimately may decide the a NFC East title. Because if any of these teams win and Washington loses, then um, Washington is out of the playoffs. But uh, I think if New York wins, I think, um, oh yeah, yeah. Because if New York wins, Washington is out if they lose because of the records. But if Dallas wins... Uh, and Washington wins, Washington's in. So it is a tricky scenario there. But we're all going Dallas here. Then we think Dallas wins this one. Uh, next, my favorite game of the week, Miami at Buffalo. I'm going Dolphins. So is Eddie. Chris and Price are going Buffalo. Uh, we'll see what happens. Next, we have the Minnesota Vikings at the Detroit Lions. No one's playing for any playoff odds here. Uh, Minnesota, 6-9. Detroit, 5-10. and 10, And we're all going Minnesota. Next, New York Jets at New England Patriots. Chris is actually going with the Jets. They've won two in a row, but I did not think they beat the Patriots this week, and neither does Eddie or Bryce. Let's go to Pittsburgh at Cleveland. Uh, Pittsburgh 12-3, and Cleveland 10-5 and after losing to the Jets last week. Wow. Shocking. Um, but so we have some mixed feelings here. I'm going Cleveland. So is Eddie and Bryce. And then Chris is going Steelers. I don't think Steelers are going to win. They're playing Mason Rudolph. They already won the AFC North. They are just taking a back seat right now. Next, we have the Arizona Cardinals at the Los Angeles Rams. And this one's tricky. I'm going to go see the a NFC odds. Uh, and if the Seattle Seahawks clinched the NFC West divisional title. But we have the Cardinals 8-7 and, and the Rams 9-6. and six. Now, this one's tricky. Let me see. I have the ways that these teams can get in. I think if uh, Los Angeles wins, they get in, or they would have to depend on a Chicago loss, which I'm expecting to happen. Um, for the Cardinals, the Cardinals, 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 Cardinals. I don't see anything about the Cardinals here. What the hell? Oh, Arizona. Arizona needs to win. And then, uh, if not, they tie and, and Chicago lost. I'm taking Arizona wins, and Chicago ends up losing. So, I'm going Arizona. All the rest of the guys are going the Rams. Uh, 
I could be wrong, but I think the the Cardinals are going to fight really hard to get into this, this one. Um, but next we have the Green Bay Packers at the Chicago Bears. Bryce and Christopher are both going to Chicago. Me and Eddie, though, we're going Green Bay. I, I just think Green Bay is playing for so much more. Even though Green Bay is already in the playoffs, Chicago is fighting to just get in the playoffs. Uh, but I think with... Uh, with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers on the verge of securing the number one seed, home field advantage, all the way to the end of the postseason until pretty much Super Bowl. I mean that you can't beat that. So especially at Lambeau, so I think the Green Bay Packers win this one and secure that home field advantage for the rest of the NFC. Because you saw what happened last year when they went to San Francisco instead of playing at Lambeau Field. Next we have Jacksonville Jaguars at Indianapolis Colts. Uh, we're all going Colts here. Let's keep it moving. Los Angeles Chargers at Kansas City Chiefs. Eddie is going Chargers where all the rest of us are going Chiefs. Uh, even though the Chiefs are probably resting everyone, uh, I still think they're going to win. Uh, Los Angeles has not looked good. But, you know, who knows? Uh, next, we have the Las Vegas Raiders at the Denver Broncos. 7-8 and eight Raiders, 5-10 and 10 Broncos. We're all going Raiders, except for Chris. Chris is going Broncos. I think Chris is kind of like picking some opposite games just to uh, try to make a difference in the outcome of the leaderboard, but we'll see. Now, New Orleans is still also playing for that uh, number one seed. I think if they win and Green Bay loses, the Saints get it because they've won their head to heads match. Uh, so the Saints, 11-4. Against the Panthers, five and ten, and uh, the Saints are gonna win, uh, according to all four of us: me, Chris, Bryce, and Eddie. Uh, next, we have the Seattle Seahawks at the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, Seattle is pretty much playing for the number one seed as well, but I think they need more things in their favor to uh, to get that number one seed. They need both Green Bay. And New Orleans to lose. So I don't think they're going to go too crazy. But if the possibility of them winning is, I mean, those other teams losing and them winning is in the scenario, then, I mean, good for them. And they're playing the San Francisco 49ers. So I think they're going to win. Uh, I think everyone picked Seattle to win. Yep. Next, we have Tennessee at Houston. Uh, Tennessee 5, uh, 10 and 5. Houston 4 and 11. And uh, everyone's going Tennessee. And that's a lot better for the Dolphins, uh, especially with uh, Houston holding the Dolphins first round pick well Dolphins holding Houston's first round pick next and final Sunday night game of the 2020 season 2021 January 3rd we have the Washington football team at the Philadelphia Eagles Philadelphia's in limited from playoffs but like I said earlier with that Cowboys and um, Giants game we're gonna have to wait and see whether or not they win the division Based on the Washington football team, six and nine, Eagles four and ten, and uh, we're all going Washington here. Uh, just let me know what you guys think of this 2020 season so far, and uh, what teams have surprised you and whatnot. And uh, that's about it for at least the regular season. We're gonna come back next week uh, for the playoffs, and it's gonna be a lot more interesting. Hopefully, I have all the guys back. And uh, currently, I'm out of town, so it's just really hard scheduling everything together. So. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, see you in the next video.